hi everyone my name is amber welcome back to my channel this is going to be a book talk video on sally rooney's normal people i should probably hold up the book so this is going to be a bit different to my usual series review kind of video i thought it might be fun to incorporate other people's reviews into this one this kind of book talk structure which is hopefully going to be a new thing on my channel is going to be formatted in this way first of all i'm going to talk about the description of the book and then i'm going to be doing a review of the book so my own thoughts and feelings and book chat and then I'm going to be scrolling through other people's reviews on Goodreads. I'm going to be, I don't know, analysing what they say and discussing how our opinions differ or how they're very similar. Hopefully that will be quite interesting. I'll leave timestamps for all three things in the description box below so you can skip ahead if you want to. I don't imagine there's going to be much drama or tea. I'm just going to be hopefully very sensibly reading other people's reviews and hopefully that will, I don't know, be a bit more interesting. It's a bit more of a discussion, I guess, than me just spouting out words at you guys about my opinions on the book. Without further ado, this is what Normal People is about. Basically, it's set in Ireland. It's about two people called Marianne and Connell. Both are really, really smart and they both want to go to Trinity College. They go to high school together. They get into a secret relationship. Connell doesn't want to tell his friends because Marianne's a bit weird and he wants to keep it a secret. They quite quickly really break up and go to college. Their lives kind of keep crossing and overlapping and they keep bumping into each other and getting together and then not getting together and then just becoming like best friends. The book follows them as they grow and change as people, as partners, as friends. It's a very short book. There's a lot packed into it. Before going into this review, I also want to mention that Marianne is in several abusive relationships. I wanted to mention that as a trigger warning because I haven't really seen many people talk about that. It really got to me while reading this book. It was very emotional and hard to read. So I want you to be warned before you go into it. And now for my review. I tend to read really fast paced books. I read a lot of thrillers and mysteries and fast paced fantasy books. Slower paced books tend to not really be my thing. However, I was really surprised to love this book because it kind of just plodded along throughout Marianne's and Connell's lives at school and university. It wasn't really fast paced at all. It's a very short book. In a way, I guess it was fast paced because the author packed several years into under 300 pages. The plot itself just, it wasn't thrilling or fast paced. It just kind of drifted along and followed these two characters as they lived their lives and kept coming back together. And I really, really enjoyed that. I think what really helped this book was the fact that the story kept jumping back and forth in time and not necessarily warning the reader when it did so. It would sometimes jump back a few months in the middle of a chapter. And while that could have been really off-putting, I don't think it really was for me. I think Sally Rooney did a really good job of going back and forth and creating a non-linear story. I think it was really well written in that regard. I have to say it was really nice to follow these two main characters as they were going through college. I think there is a massive gap in college aged literature because I feel like new adult isn't really a thing anymore. Publishers sort of scrapped that so I think people tend to go from reading young adult books straight into reading adult books where the main characters are 27 plus and there's not really much out there for college aged people who want to read stuff about people their own age. But this one does do that and I feel like it's really filling in the gap in the market. Of course, I would love more books set in college. I can only name maybe three off the top of my head, but this book really did help to, I don't know, plug that hole, so to speak. I think the people who go into normal people expecting a lot of excitement are going to be very disappointed. Although the title does tell you exactly what to expect. It's a book about normal people living normal lives. And I was absolutely fine with that. When it comes to the characters, they are obviously the driving force of this book. I loved both of them. I really enjoyed reading about them both. Marianne's character growth and development was very interesting to read about. She started off as kind of a bullied teenager who didn't really fit in anywhere to someone who fitted in really well in college and later on in life but that didn't mean that she mentally fitted in like everyone loved her and she had tons of friends but she still had a lot of stuff going on with her sally rooney showed how childhood abuse can affect someone later on in both daily life and in relationships i thought it was very very difficult to read about at times but I do think it was handled really well. Marianne was going through a lot and the story does get quite dark, but I found her to be a really interesting character 
because I liked how Sally Rooney showed her as starting off as someone who doesn't fit in and then to having tons of friends and making really good impressions but then she still had a lot going on kind of mentally and also at home with her family who she still saw from time to time. I thought Marianne was the more interesting of the two characters but that's not to say that Connell didn't also have a lot going on because he did. Connell kind of had the opposite experience at college. He went from having tons of friends as a teenager and being really popular to really struggling to connect with anyone at college apart from Marianne. He also suffered a lot from anxiety and depression and that went from settling down to flaring up again throughout the book and it was kind of a constant thing. I really liked the relationship between the two and how they were just really really good friends even if they weren't together at the time they were always there for one another and they kind of tried to understand the other person even if they didn't know exactly what was going on in the other person's life. Connell didn't really know what was going on with Marianne until towards the end but he was still there for her and looked out for her. And honestly, their friendship is one of my favorite relationships out of many books that I have read because I think it's really well written and well developed. And I just loved how they kept coming back together and they were there for one another. I do have a couple of things to mention that I didn't particularly enjoy. First of all, the lack of speech marks. This book is written in such a way that there are no quotation marks around the dialogue and the dialogue is kind of stuck in in the middle of the paragraphs and I didn't love that I have to say. I found it quite difficult to read in the beginning and I actually put this book down for several months because it frustrated me so much but in the end I did get used to it. After say 50 pages I really got into the characters so much that I didn't really care about the lack of speech marks. I just thought it was a really strange choice by Sally Rooney and I really didn't enjoy it. I don't know why she did that. I think it took a lot of concentration in the beginning to wrap my head around the lack of speech marks and to figure out where the dialogue was. I honestly hated it at the start and I'm glad that I managed to get over it and to get used to it but I just wish that she had made a different choice because this just confused me and I didn't enjoy it. Secondly, my other kind of not issue with the book but something that kind of detracted from the book for me was the fact that the book was very very short and concise. It did really work, don't get me wrong, I think that the author did a good job with what she did here but I personally prefer my books to be a bit longer. I think there probably could have been a bit more padding particularly towards the end because the ending was kind of abrupt and I think if the author had sort of provided more description or padding it would have ended a lot better. I do really get the ending that the author was going for but it really felt like that as the ending drew closer the author sort of ran out of story to tell and she just wanted to get to that moment at the end on the last page and she didn't really care about developing anything anymore. Overall I gave this book four stars. I did really enjoy it. I would highly recommend it but I would be careful going into it because of the amounts of abuse in the story. I also heard that this is going to be turned into a TV show which is fun. I think it's going to be a mini series and I'm really looking forward to watching that. I may well do a review of the adaptation once it comes out. I'm not sure yet. I haven't fully decided. So now let's take a look at the Goodreads reviews. I'm just going to scooch one over so I can put some screenshots in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay so right at the top we have Melanie who gave it five stars, who said the book's going to be polarising, most people will dislike it. I haven't actually seen many people who dislike it actually, I was under the impression that this was a really well loved book, so I think Melon is wrong there. But anyway, let's scroll down and find something a bit more controversial maybe. Most of my friends have reviewed it and rated it four stars or five stars. My friend Malia has said it took her a long time to read, I agree, because the beginning was you know quite difficult to get into. Rooney manages to capture something of what it means to grow up, what it means to feel untethered and in love and love and lost and much more. This is such a good review, I really really agree with that. This is a two star review so it says there was no amazing representation of the LGBT community or POC. I mean does there have to be? I agree that it's not really out there in terms of representation but that doesn't really mean it's a bad book in my opinion but I guess you know she's looking for something different than I was. Tanya has opened her review with this damn book, so maybe this will be interesting. If there's only one thing you should take away from this review, it should probably be this. This book will fuck you up. Yeah, it did fuck me up, which is why I'm doing a review on it. That's where I started having problems with normal people. There were so many contradictions. We're told over and over again how in tune with each other these two are supposed to be how they find their way back to each other despite all the things putting them apart, their own sense of self-worth included. Where are the conversations that reflect how supposedly smart they are, whereas the emotional intelligence that comes from genuinely caring for another person? Uh, I 
I disagree with that. I feel like that is shown throughout the book. Maybe did I read too much into it? Maybe it wasn't really there or maybe this person just didn't notice. I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like the author did a really good job of showing the emotional connection between the two characters in the way that they looked after each other and they just constantly going they were constantly going back to one another. Maybe I should find some one star reviews. Maybe that will be quite amusing. Here we go. Anna I knew you wouldn't let me down. It says here that one big glaring issue for me was the way that the author stylized this book. There were no quotation marks around any of the dialogue. Yes, thank you. I freaking hated that too. If I hadn't loved the characters so much, I probably would have given this book one star just for that because bloody hell, it took forever to get into and I hated it. Have you ever stared at a wall of text and thought, hell no, whereas the too long didn't read? I get that. I. I agree. Plot wise this book was incredibly boring. I guess it could be boring for some people but I went into it knowing that it was about normal people so I, I guess I was just kind of expecting it. Do yourself a massive favour and pass this book up. It's as boring as watching paint dry but at least watching paint dry you might feel something from the fumes. <laughs> I love that. I mean I disagree but I think that's amazing. They should put that on the cover. I'm just scrolling down and looking for some more one star reviews because those are quite amusing. Maybe I should also find some five star reviews so I can, you know, be fair about all of this. This five star review has said that the story focuses on only on the pivotal moments for these two characters, jumping forwards three weeks, six months or five minutes. I agree. Yeah, it is quite jumpy and I think the person, the reviewer liked this and I did too. I think I personally really enjoyed that. I'm not sure everyone would. Oh, another one star. Okay, truly, what are you saying? Some of my perplexity with normal people is that I just couldn't relate to the 20-something highly educated, politically aware and cynical young adults that populate this novel. I'm not sure how reflected these voices are of young Irish making their way in the world, but as presented here, I I found them exasperating to listen to and not particularly nuanced. I am clearly not Irish, but I have to say that the characters did feel relatable, not personally for me. I didn't go to university or college, my partner did, and these characters reminded me a lot of some of his friends. And I also feel like I spend a lot of time talking to people who have just left university, not as part of my job, but in my office. And I feel like some of the conversations that they have would be similar to the conversations that the characters in the book have so I think it is relatable although you know relatability is kind of subjective so fair enough if she didn't feel that way I tried to understand Marianne who seemed to be both ugly and beautiful popular and friendless her hinted at troubled family life was supposed to underpin her need to be a submissive I remain unconvinced that this is really how dominance and submission works and I would think experts in BDSM might strongly take issue with some of the cliches here okay so of course they will take issue with some of the cliches here because it was abuse it wasn't BDSM. First of all, it wasn't hinted at you saw her abuse at home, like you full on saw her brother abuse her. And secondly, of course, it's not how BDSM works because she's not in a healthy relationship. She's not going into it with a healthy mindset. So it wasn't real BDSM, it was abusive. This person clearly hasn't done their research and doesn't seem to really know what they're talking about. Moving on, this is a one star review. It says, quite simply, this book didn't fit me. I really have no interest in reading about 18 to 20 something year old college students on off sexual relationship. Well, fair enough, if that book's not, kind of book's not for you, like there's not really much I can say to argue with that. Oh, I think I've read this one before actually. They're talking about the writing in the book and with the examples the person has listed here I would agree that the writing seems terrible I didn't personally think so as I was reading it but now that they've listed it in bullet points I have to agree the writing doesn't sound great but personally I just didn't care while I was was reading well a lot of these are one stars maybe Melanie was correct in the beginning I'm sorry for doubting you Mel <laughs> it reads like Twilight without the vampires but someone give this bad boy a man book a prize let's move to some more positive reviews because I feel like I'm just laughing at the one stars while also partly agreeing with them here I could not stop reading Addicted. I will never doubt my own gut desire again when it comes to a Sally Rooney novel. Something has shifted in me. Oh, that's nice. Chelsea felt lukewarm about it, which I guess is fair. She also hated the ending and I can see why. The ending was definitely my least favourite part of the book. Although this person here says that the ending of the book is perfect and Rooney wraps up her novel as it should be. I disagree with that, but this person also rated it five stars. So, you know, at least this is something positive about the book. This person rated it five stars and just opened their review with oof which I would agree with. I'm gonna gush about this one, warning to those in the splash zone, and I honestly feel that the less you know about it, the better the experience will be for you. Yeah, maybe, I guess, because it's such a short book, that's not, you can't really go into too much detail about it. I'm looking for something with gifts, like gifts would make this a lot more interesting, I think. Jan B has said, this book tore my heart out and stomped on it, and I mean that in the best possible way. Michelle said, I'm late to the normal people party, but damn, this book gave me all the feels, the good, the bad, and the ugly. 
same. Okay, so that was the first full page of reviews that I don't really feel the need or have the time for going into it anymore. I'm just going to wrap it up here. That was my review and book talk for normal people. I hope you enjoyed this new format that I was going for. It was my first one, so hopefully it was okay. I actually really enjoyed reading through the Goodreads reviews on camera, so let me know if you would like me to do that with more of my reviews. Thank you so much for watching my video. I upload a couple of times a week, so be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more from me. I'll speak to you all in my next video. Bye!